All right. So up to this point, um, when we talked about non-steady state diffusion, for example, we were dealing a lot with solid diffusion. So um, interstitial or substitutional atoms diffusing into a solid material. For example, carbon and iron. However, um, there is a slight variation when we think about polymers in that in polymers, uh, a lot of the applications are for gas diffusion. And so in this module, we're going to talk about gas diffusing in polymers. And for that, we talk about, we term that permeation. So we talk about gas permeation in polymers. And we did a similar example of this when we talked about Fick's uh, first law. We kind of talked about uh, meat packing and, and, uh, and the, the wrappings there, and also uh, rubber gloves. So this is basically what we're talking about there. But when we talk about polymers, we use the term permeation. Um, and the, the main difference is instead of um, fixed first law that we had for steady state diffusion, right? This is fixed first law where we had diffusivity and a concentration gradient over uh, position leads to the flux. For permeation, we look at a flux, but we look at it in terms of pressures instead of concentrations, right? Because typically when we talk about gases, we talk about gas pressure, not gas concentration. So it's just a better way of talking about it. So we have a, a pressure gradient so change in pressure with change in position. And then instead of diffusivity, we would term this the permeability coefficient, but it has the same corollary to what we've been talking about. So that's the only differences. And so if we set up this problem, we're gonna look at a polymer and we're gonna have a certain concentration, uh, C, uh, A1 in this case, uh, and then the lower pressure or concentration is C, A2. And so instead of these concentrations where we're talking about moles per volume, we're gonna equate that instead to the partial pressure or pressure of the component that we're looking at uh, in the gas phase. So it's just a more convenient way of looking at pressures. And you can think of this as kind of the pressure that builds up in a bottle, right? And we can view the inside of this compared to the outside and look at the gas permeation. So Here's a table of some various polymers and their uh, permeability coefficients, right? So the, the equivalent to diffusivity or diffusion coefficient. So the bigger the number, the more uh, diffusion or permeability that happens. And so here we have these various material polymers and the various gases. So O2, N2, CO2, H2O, right? These are common things that you might want to either keep out or diffuse through uh, a polymer. And so what we see here is if we sort of spotlight PET. So PET is uh, polyethylene tetraphthalate, um, and this is a common packaging material. Um, and we see that it's ideal for food storage because these numbers that we see are very low, right? So basically there isn't even diffusion of water. And then all of these other uh, numbers here for O2, N2, and CO2 are all very low they're not necessarily the lowest, but they're very low compared to some of these other polymers, like uh, low density polyethylene, for example, has higher numbers. And so that allows more oxygen, nitrogen, um, and CO2 through those barriers. So if we're looking for something, for, for example, of food storage, and we wanna keep those things out, we want these numbers to be as small as possible. But otherwise, the problems that we would work for permeability would be exactly like we have for uh, fixed first law, the only difference being we're looking at uh, this permeability coefficient and we have pressures instead of concentrations. Okay, so we've got, we're wrapping up uh, this chapter on diffusion and I wanna go over some generalities and diffusion. So just big picture of things that are gonna happen. And so we look at when diffusion is generally faster and when diffusion is generally slower. And so if we compare crystal structures, uh, if we want diffusion to be faster, we want a more open structure, right? So that things move in and out of the lattice or the interstitials very quickly. Close pack structures tend to be slower. And we saw that example with uh, carbon in uh, the various forms of iron. FCC, it was slower. BCC, it was faster. All right, 
So then let's compare to bonding types. So if a material has covalent bonding, which is stronger, then you have to break those strong covalent bonds, so diffusion is slower, compared to if you only have secondary bonds, diffusion is going to be faster. So the stronger the bond, the slower diffusion will be. All right, so let's look at the diffusing species, the atoms. The larger they are, the slower they go. The smaller they are, the faster they go. And the same thing uh, with crystal structures it happens with density. So the lower the density, the faster diffusion is, the higher density, slower it is. So those are all kind of generalities we can make about diffusion and also permeability, which we just talked about uh, in polymers to do with gases.